Hi, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use event triggers, so basically any selections that you've made, once you leave a sheet it clears it, the selections, so I'm just going to choose United States as the country and quarter one, so basically everything on this sheet is based on these two selections, unless it's a set analysis which is um, you'll have seen in previous videos. So if I switch to charts, it's going to change based on the selections I've made in the dashboard sheet and the same with the sales and the dashboard test. If I come back to the dashboard sheet and go into the sheet properties, in the triggers tab, there's a called a nearly called sheet event triggers. On leave sheet, add an action, clear all, click OK and click OK again. Um, once I leave this sheet, you can see on these the introduction to dashboard and sales, you've got the, the green circles there, which means they're also selecting uh, similar fields in those sheets. But once I leave the dashboard sheet, based on the trigger I've just uh, used, it will clear everything else. So if I go back into the dashboard, it's no longer selecting the USA or quarter one, it's gone back to normal. And that's pretty much it. There's a lot more you can do with event triggers, but that's the... It, simplistic version of it. I hope it helps and I'll see you in the next video.